Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, buddy? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, I got for you the Russian Badger. It is an abstractable carnival of pain, and it's a World War, World of Tanks video. Um, to someone who commented on a video a while back, I don't remember your name. I did see this video come out, and it's been on my list for a while. I was just prioritizing other videos to get out much sooner, so that's why I didn't react to this until now. If you're if you're still wondering. Um, it's been a little while since I've seen a Russian Badger video. I think maybe August is the latest I can think of. Um, probably August. I could be wrong. Huh? Um, so I'm not going to really talk here because there's nothing, there's nothing really truly for me to say at the moment. But I'm just going to go ahead and say let's get right into today's video because I know some of you haven't been wanting me to watch this for quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and play this bad boy in three. Two, one, go. So I was checking my mailbox for a pipe bomb recently when it dawned on me. Remember when England built that wiener dog tent? What? In case you don't keep up with orc lore, or when that island in the Atlantic was on its Joker arc, 80 years ago, the British strapped a turret onto a Burger King and decided to take it to war. Into the fire! When suddenly, what? they did. Because by the time they finished it, the tank was already so dumb and obsolete that it was immediately tossed into a fancy garbage can called a museum. You belong in a museum. But the irrelevance of the Wiener Tog in real combat has made it hyper relevant in digital combat. Oh, I'm what? gonna absolutely straight up murder this ATA. Every I've never heard of this tank. That made it a and I've done my history on tanks for an exam. Talking about their origin, how they started. I never heard of this one. 40 makes it all the more legendary eight decades later. It's definitely a Togger's moment. <laughs> a tog <laughs> shut up. I'm here to tell you why. Why is one of the slowest, heaviest, longest, dumbest dipshit vehicles in all the world of tanks so beloved and so much fun to play? <laughs> I'm also gonna cram in a bunch of irrelevant shit that you never asked for, but consider that my price of admission. The ocean is a That's soup. Well, it's filled with microplastics, so I hope you're hungry. That's him, officer. He wasn't using the weak wrist. <laughs> oh, shut up. Yeah, what? I'm the house. Off the fucking map. I will fucking kill you if you change the hot dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. I can see why he named it a carnival video. Shout out World of Tanks for sponsoring this oh video. Boy. Because with all this inflation, money doesn't feel real anymore, and even approaching an ATM immediately turns my wallet to ash. What is real is watching your debit card disintegrate before your very eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the microplastics are going into your body. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why signing up for a new account at the link below using code BADGER, B-A-J-U-R, will get you all of this shit for free. We're talking three days premium, consumable coffee, cinnamon buns, and your very own TOG2 with the hot TOG skin. Yes! Yes! For free! Not to mention the game is already free, and I'm not even done yet. You win True. 10 games, and they'll hit you with three large... You know, I actually tried playing World of Tanks, but I just never got into it. Speaking of games, I don't play many shooter games nowadays. I play mostly, like, uh, for the three top games I currently play right now, it's Genshin Impact, Fortnite occasionally, and Overwatch occasionally, especially now that they have Overwatch 2. Uh, but I prioritize Genshin Impact a little bit more, because I, I like that game, game style of gameplay, style of uh, <coughs> gaming now. And I, it's hard for me to get back into, like, actual shooter games, because I don't remember how to play <laughs> So I'm not as good as I used to be, but I'm going to have to practice again on Halo Reach to try and get my uh, shooter status back. So Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in. 
first aid kits, three large repair kits, three automatic fire extinguishers, and three days. He really free stepped up, up his uh, time source filmmaker. He really did. Also, all yours. So do me a favor and sign up using code Badger so you can get all this for free. In a sentence, the absurdity of the TOG 2 and why it's hated by so many and loved by so many more is simple. It was a tank in the wrong war. This behemoth of English steel was built under the assumption that World War II would be just like World War I, when the Axis clearly had other plans. Yeah, now, I'm you serious. Don't like that anymore. We're on some new shit called Blitzkrieg. The name screams <laughs> this at you because TOG stands for the old gang, as in the old ass World War I tank designers that built a machine too archaic for the war that was being fought. I feel like this is a tank where you start it and it just sounds like. <laughs> 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 this shit is only a prototype, never saw combat, wow. and is sitting in a museum right now that they can't even fucking remove it from. It's 80 tons, really? my guy. 80 tons. And for all you visual learners out there, imagine you have a ton. Then imagine you have 79 more tons. It's so heavy that it can't <laughs> he can't even finish the sentence. Destroying what the is he wearing? An exosuit? Don't think all this vitriol comes from a place. Yeah, he's wearing an exosuit. I'm telling you this because I'm impressed. Me yeah. destroying public infrastructure. <laughs> I don't call this thing a carnival of pain because you can fit an entire carnival inside the cabin. <laughs> I call it that because every <laughs> attribute is so freakishly extreme that it's either a carnival of pain for you or the person shooting at you. Either way, someone's suffering. Take the weight, for example. Lugging around 80 tons of steel means its top speed is a blazing eight and a half miles per hour. For all my international viewers that haven't landed on the moon, that's approximately the walking speed of Mr. Krabs, making any movement an abstract kind of pain. What is this visual? <laughs> However, <laughs> 80 tons of mass also gives you a juggernaut health bar greater than any other tier six. Meaning really? You can take round after round of armor penetrating abuse and still not go down. Oh my god, this meme. Which means any I know about that meme, but I don't know where it's it was, was it from Metal Gear? Is it from Metal Gear? I don't know the origin of that meme. When firing at you is now experiencing this abstract pain because you can soak up so much fucking damage while refusing to die that it can be the difference between victory and defeat. Oh my god, there's so many tanks coming up over that ridge. Abuse counter. <laughs> Where's this help? There's this help. I can take so much abuse. There's this help. There we go. Yo, we're gonna win this game. Yes, get this fool, boys. He missed. Oh, he missed. <laughs> he missed. Another successful journey for the TOG. To clarify, the TOG isn't tanky in the traditional sense, which I know makes no sense. How can a tank not be tanky like my buddy Chowderhead that is allergic to water, even though he's made of water? You know Chowderhead, he's allergic to water. Dumbass was a fisher for eight years. He's allergic he to water? How? What? How does that even work? His body is always in constant pain. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty hydrophobic of you. Why would you say <laughs> I'm saying it's armor. Stuff. How can you be allergic? Okay. How can you be allergic to water? How is that possible? Does this make any sense? How is that even possible? Ow. Because heavy tanks are usually like me. With armor so gummy thick that nothing is going to penetrate unless you hit me with the right shell in the right spot. With less armor and more health, the TOG is more like a juggernaut from Modern Warfare 2. Fuck your life! Bing bong! You're definitely oh damaging boy. him every time you shoot. But that damage is so minuscule that you're gonna have to hit him over and over and over again to chip away at his staggering health. So it doesn't matter if the entire enemy team, Young Thug, and Gucci Mane are firing at you. If you want to take down a TOG, it's gonna take you all goddamn DAY. There is no way you're fighting Young Thug and Gucci Mane, alright? You don't have to fight. Fight young thug. Hey, well, skull, he's skull. He's gonna come skull out. Skull rate Sheboinger. You saw. You saw the stats. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I just uh, hear the word second rate Sheboinger? <laughs> Gosh, are you talking about the kid that like actually went to jail for Sheboingery? Like, imagine being brought in on felony tomfoolery charges. <laughs> <laughs> the only trait more defining of the TOG than oh my, how, oh, among how us. heavy it is, is how long it is. Holy shit, 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 shit. Being the size of a Tesco may give you a ton of health, but it also makes you a gigantic artillery target that you can't run away from. Oh, God, leave me alone, Artie. 
God, that artillery is not going to leave you alone, yeah, man. Yeah, they, uh, they've got you dialed in a little bit. Once they spot you, it's like they yoinked your IP address because they track your every move and there is no escape. You know what's funny, too, is when people do the IP address meme and then they post a local IP address. <laughs> It's like, nice, mm -hmm. bro. That's that's the one out of your router. That's your local IP address. <laughs> <laughs> Even never doesn't get me down because tanks constantly firing at me means their concealment rating drops and they turn into easy marks for my teammates to obliterate. Get that motherfucker. You can laugh at this giant wiener all you want, but it's great bait, mate. What the dog doing? What the, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? What the, what the dog doing? Every weapon you point at a tog results in five weapons being pointed back. <laughs> the surprising feature of this overgrown glizzy is the turret, because you'd think big tog must mean big turret. Something spectacular, like the Dicker Max or Death Fridge that hits like a fucking meteor. It doesn't. Oh god, that it KV2 doesn't, does it. to get you. What KV2? Oh, the KV2 up my ass? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Seven hundred damage. What? Oh. Turns out, it's only a yeah, I forgot how much the death for does. Get the only quality of this tank that isn't enormous. Spitting out a ton of rounds while tanking a ton of rounds is a perfect fit for the Tog's personality. You gon' get it, boy. Bang. Just give up now. Don't run. You'll only die tired. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you don't want none. Oh. I oh got damn. It. My reloads are nuts. That's three hundred fifty. You better get out of here, boy. You and your candy flag. Oh, don't, don't. Bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. Like no, it doesn't. Inch beach ball. Great. Twelve foot beach ball. Lawsuit. Objection. Lawsuit. You're a little kid. You're on a San Francisco hill. You get bodied by a twelve foot beach ball, and you don't know how to combo break. You're gonna fucking die. You're gonna die. <laughs> it's like a stun lock, but you just keep rolling. <laughs> You're gonna get your man grabbed by the fucking beach ball. <laughs> It's literally a CC lock all the way down the hill. You're gonna re-roll that four times, you would die every time. <laughs> Smaller turret and higher frequency of shots means a higher frequency of kills for me to steal. And I'm gonna take every single one of them like a fucking rat. Oh. Hold on a minute. I just hey. yoinked that out of thin air. Hell yeah. Well, I have so it's, much health it's... and I'm stealing another kill, baby. <laughs> I stole another one. I am such a rat. I'm such a fucking rat. Yeah. This M4A1 is about to get it. I'm reloading. Oh, oh my, God, my I got lord. All these attributes put together make the TOG into an absolute bruiser. That may not be a fast tank or a deadly tank, but it's definitely a problem tank. No. I don't want that. Get him before the game ends. Ten seconds. Yo, get his ass. Get his ass. Yeah! Oh boy. Got him. Feels Double tech so teams. good when I'm not an arty piece of shit. And that's exactly what you want to be when a game like this comes down to the wire. You can't oh, say the word hamster without laughing. Hamster is a real word. I have a friend. I remember that video. Apparently when he was younger, he loved hamsters. And he had a hamster that had babies. And he accidentally touched one of the hamsters. The hamsters detected that one hamster had human scent and uh -huh. ate it. They oh, ate what? another hamster. <laughs> no, chat. I'm telling a real story. Stop saying hamster. Hamster. They were created nope. for the Kia Soul. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like we're winning, but I think we're losing. Come here, dog. I hit him. Critical I damage. hit him again. Hit him again. The needle. Oh, somebody got him. We're good. Now it's time to clean up the tug. I hit all oh, your toes, Tug, your toes. I'm playing three-dimensional, eight-dimensional underwater chess here. Yes, I got him. I'm this getting this. What? Party. He can't this stop me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. I'm just gonna laugh at that guy. Okay, yeah. we're in business. Hey, let's win this. Let's down. win this, KB. Let's win One. this shit. Yeah, landed it. Uh oh, he's been detected. Oh, he's so Ooh, low. Oh, he's so low. Six. Come on. Come on. Reload. 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 We only got 10 seconds. We can cap. They're not going to kill me. No. I'm too tanky. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My buddy died. My buddy died. Hold up. We will prevail. He bounced. He bounced. God, he knows that I'm looking at him, though. Got him. Got oh. him. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Distraction. Oh, that T-78 played that perfectly. He played that perfectly to not come out when he knew that I had him zero. Yeah. Does not matter. Yeah. I got a Reaper decal. That tells you everything you need to know about that match. Uh, I don't even body, care body. that we lost. That was so much fun. Comes down to a single shot, a single rock being launched at another dude. Difference in the whole game. Maybe, just maybe, if I would have spent my bonds on faster reloads, I could have won that game. Because Dirtbag <laughs> Dustin kept telling me that spending bonds on upgrades doesn't matter because the percentage
percentages are too small when I firmly believe that an upgrade is an upgrade. It's not going to do anything for you. Like it'll give you like a slightly better reload and that's it. Two and a half percent is two and a half percent. I, I do not understand your logic. But two and a half percent of what's four seconds is like it's faster what the fuck else am i going to spend these bonds on this is the only thing they can buy Literally, there is zero the downside fuck? i do not what understand the, what the fuck else? make it make sense oh my god that will kill me yo y'all talking bro. but it doesn't matter now because i lost the game and i should really shut the fuck up Plus, anytime I find myself behind the, the wheel spoon. of a dog, I feel like a champion anyway. So who's the real winner here? I hope you now understand why the Tog 2 is my favorite drivable restaurant, a never-ending carnival of fun, and 100% the best aircraft carrier in World of Tanks. RAC 130 is aircraft the carrier. Shout out to all of you over on Twitch that helped me make this video. It really isn't the same without you guys. I'm out here working on a nuclear weapon and watching a badger stream. What is my life? Yo, were you that one dude that I met in the air uh, Denver International Airport one time that guards nukes? I met this dude in the Denver International Airport. I asked him what he did. He said, oh, I'm in the Air Force. I'm like, oh, what do you do? He's like, oh, I defend nuclear weapons. And I just pause for like 10 straight <laughs> seconds to let it sink in. <laughs> Shout out to Scoper for what? intentionally lowering my viewer count by spamming vomit sounds both forwards and backwards. Hamster vomit. <laughs> Play the vomit in reverse. No. Should it. <laughs> Still, <laughs> that's this disgusting. Don't to claim all those items for free, including the wiener tog, at the link below. Because who doesn't love a free hot dog? If you don't like the dollar fifty hot dog at Costco, you belong in a jail cell. I have nothing else to say to you. Do you like the Costco hot dog? I can take it or leave it. All right, prison. <laughs> it's really funny when you have to explain what hamburger helper is to your wife. She does not understand what it is. One pound, one pan, one taste of meat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for letting me borrow your eyeballs for 15 minutes. And be sure to tune in next time when I take off this goddamn sweatshirt because it's too fucking hot. <laughs> oh my, that was a very different uh, badge video. It was like the it was like the last one, the Tom 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 Hawking Spider video. It was they were both very different to what he usually does. In terms of editing, it was more source filmmaker than it was gameplay. And who am I to complain? <laughs> I love me some source filmmaker. But uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this. Uh, please like and subscribe and all that stuff, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.